What's up everybody, my name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a whole variety content creator, host of Podcast Across Worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reviewing episode 5 of The Saints and Magic Pirate is OP. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to help the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Links to those will be in the description. So we are reviewing The Saints and Magic Pirate this OP episode 5 appraisal. So based off of the title of the episode appraisal, we are appraising Say. So they had to get the great or the grand mages, his name is Yuri, to appraise her. Now you're wondering why didn't they appraise her sooner? Well, because during the summoning ritual, he went into a coma. Apparently that took a lot out of him so much that he went into a coma. So now he's awakened and he appraises Say. He couldn't appraise her. Yeah, couldn't appraise her this whole time waiting. And Say has been apprehensive about it. She's like, well, what happens if I am the saint? What happens if I'm not the saint? And she even asked, what will happen to Ira, who's the other girl who got summoned? And I think she was conflicted. She's like, I don't want to be the saint because you guys are going to make me do stuff like for example you're going to make me go out and clear out the bad energy the monsters you know purify the area make me go into battles encounter danger etc etc but then on the other hand if she's not the saint then ira the other girl who got summoned will be put in that danger so it's like she was a little, she felt a little guilty that she wanted Ira to be put in that position. And also she didn't want to put someone else in harm's way so she could be safe. Like she felt guilty about that. Let me know what you guys thought about that. That's that's what I'm thinking. So she gets praised. She couldn't be appraised. And Yuri, he's explaining that... People can only be appraised if they're given consent. So when she couldn't be appraised, Johan just immediately was like, say, what did you do? And they were like, did you not give your consent? She's like, that wasn't me. I did give my consent. And they're like, okay, what happened then? Huh? Huh? And Johan's like looking at her like she did something, like she did something she wasn't supposed to, or she did something that was beyond the average person's limits. Like, she did another 1.5 times a more stronger kind of thing. And you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but Yuri explains that the only reason why he couldn't appraise her is because Sei is more powerful than him. The Grand Mage is the most powerful mage in the kingdom. So... Hey, you're more powerful than the most powerful person in the kingdom. What you gonna do now? And they're like, okay, so she is the saint. And they're like, no, she's not. He doesn't need to be the saint just because I can't appraise her. And just because I can't appraise her doesn't mean I can't confirm something. So Yuri the Grand Mage just asks Say to cast a spell and specifically heal. So she does. He casts heal. And it's like, okay, it says heal but then oh another thing whatchamacallit they finally introduced the guy who's in charge of the assembly the place that did the enchantment stuff the guy with white hair and blue eyes his name is Earhart Hawk 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 he's Albert's brother Albert's brother we should have known better we should have known that they were really related because they have the same eye color a hawk's, you know, characteristic. But I'm wondering, why does he have white hair and Albert has blonde hair? Different mom, same dad? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Anyways, I went sidetracked. I went sidetracked. So, uh, Yuri, he has this heal too. His was different. So, say when she casts the heal, it was like golden glow. With some sparkles. They look like, you know, like a heel, right? 
It's the only heal we've seen. But when the Grand Mages cast his heal, it was a flash of white light. It looked pathetic <laughs> compared to Sage. It was like flash versus glow. Yeah. The Grand Mages said that a normal heal looks like his. Sage looks a little special. And Sage's like, oh, what does it mean when I have those? Golden sparkles, and Yuri's like, Well, it could be just a otherworldly thing or something else. Mm -hmm. Next scene is Yuri reports to the king. So he's telling the king that he couldn't appraise Say, but he could appraise Ira. Oh, that already shows that Say is special. But when he appraised Ira, it showed that. Her magic grows fast. Like she excels quickly. She's she started low, but she's growing. While say she just started OP. Okay, they even called it potent. But the thing is, is it possible for both of them to be saints? Can both of them be saints? But they just specialize in different stuff. Where say starts powerful, she starts OP. And Ira can get to there. So what happens if Ira does reach on the same level as say? Is Ira limitless? Like she has no limit? Yeah, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments. Besides that, Yuri is pretty set on that say is the same because of how she casted heal. She had the golden glow with sparkles. He had Ira cast heal to you. She didn't have that. She just had that basic white light flash. So it's a lot of stuff points that say is the saint, but unfortunately, no one can appraise her, so no one can really confirm she's a saint. They can only speculate, and they probably can only wait for say to say i am the saint i will volunteer i will put myself forward i will take the responsibility of being the saint so i'm assuming this is say's way to stay safe like if she doesn't say anything they can't do anything right in the same conversation between the king and yuri there's another guy that's with the king that guy and the king talk about how kyle the prince this may be a challenge for Kyle's succession because Kyle was rude to stay and he went with Ira and he picked Ira to be the saint. Like he's pretty much telling everyone she is the saint. But when it's revealed that she's not the saint, that will hurt his credibility. And I'm assuming they're saying that this would hurt his succession because his credibility would affect his succession as the king. Now my question is why would it matter? Why would it matter that something could happen to his succession as the king? Because isn't he the only prince? Isn't he the only heir? Is there another person? Where's the other person? Where's the other prince? Or whoever? Are we going to see them later on? Now because Prince Kai was rude to say the king is worried that if Say really is the saint, is she not going to help the kingdom? They're going to have to apologize to her. Yes, he did already apologize to her in the library, but it wasn't a formal apology. It wasn't in front of everybody. Like, only Say and the king know that this apology happened, right? No, this has to be public. So, the next thing was, Say gets summoned. They have an audience with the king. So she gets there and they glam her up. They give her an outfit, making her look very saintly and such. And says like, yeah, they think I'm the saint. Mm -hmm. I can tell they're giving me really good service. And they gave me this holy looking outfit. Like she looks like she looked like a nun. <laughs> she looked like a nun, but not really a nun. And I did mention that she had a turtleneck. And I'm wondering if they had her outfit like that because wasn't she wearing a turtleneck on the first episode when she got summoned? 
Did they pick that because of that, or did they pick that because it looks very holy? <laughs> Besides that, she goes to meet the king. He apologizes to her in front of everyone, and everybody else apologizes to her by bowing down. And they're like waiting for her to respond, and they're waiting for her to be petty. Because they know that she was done wrong. Not horribly wrong, but she was done wrong. And she's powerful. She's more powerful than the Grand Mages, okay? She could probably annihilate the kingdom, ruin them. So they're like, shoot, we need to right the wrongs. Okay, we pissed off the wrong person. Yeah, you did. You guys did. You pissed off the wrong person. You guys thought she was all meek and whatnot. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> so they apologize and the king's like, you did a lot of stuff for the kingdom too. What can we do? What reward? Would you like a title? Would you like land? Would you like money? She's like, I don't want anything. And everybody's like, what? And if, if you're wondering why everybody was like, what? It's because if she doesn't take anything, they still owe her. She could she could cash that debt anytime, anywhere, for anything. So it's pretty much like, oh shoot, if she doesn't ask for anything now, uh, she might ask something we don't want her to ask for. So say senses. She's really good at sensing the room, which I'm surprised about. I'm surprised they featured this. I'm wondering if this is going to be played out later on, like with politics. With other nobles, is this going to be handy later on? Maybe, maybe not. So the reward that she asked from the king is she wants access to the Forbidden Collection so she can read more advanced magic books, books on advanced magic. And she asked to be taught magic because Ira is at the academy. She's training, she's learning magic there. Why not her? She should be able to learn magic. I mean, if she is the saint, she might as well. Might as well learn how to control this OP power. And that led to the last scene after the ending credits of Yuri, the Grand Mages, announcing that he will be Day's personal magic tutor. Yeah. So I'm assuming that that's going to be the next episode the next episode is going to be about her learning learning about magic and learning about other stuff so i'm not too sure because the title of the episode is lady and that was my review of the saint's magic power is op episode 5 appraisal what did you think about the episode what did you think about this video let me know in the comments below and if you want to talk outside of youtube there's discord discord link is available in the description I also stream on twitch.tv slash lehulosubrufina. People who watch these videos do stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this was the Superfina channel reviewing The Saint's Magic Power is OP Episode 5 Appraisal. Hope you guys liked this video and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.